Hello, here we have my LPG powered lawnmower. I converted it to run on LPG a little while ago because I got sick and tired of the smell and the fumes and I was looking for a cleaner alternative. And what I'm going to do now is talk to you about some of the um, issues that I faced and some of the problems and how I solved them and then I'll start it up and show you how it runs. So you'll notice that it's just a normal four-stroke engine with a carburetor like any other four-stroke engine. I've removed the fuel tank which used to sit there and I've replaced the fuel source to be LPG. One of the biggest problems was finding a suitable way of mounting the cylinder and the way that I solved that problem was by constructing an angle iron frame which sits amongst the handles of the lawnmower and is held in place by the bolts and the knobs that provide the handle adjustment and the handle folding capability of the lawnmower. So it sits neatly amongst the handles and it's held in place by the bolts and knobs that normally sort of um, allow you to fold down the handles. I've done it that way because it's quite easy to remove the frame and convert it back to petrol if I choose to do so at some point in time in the future. Now the bottle sits on this horseshoe shape shaped piece of metal which is recycled from a Hirofrono of Kinito and um, it's also held in place by this angle line which is perpendicular to the main frame and a bolt welded onto the angle line with a nut on the other side and a washer. So the bottle itself is uh, quite secure and it's not going to come off. That's a very important consideration. The last thing you want is your LPG bottle coming off the lawnmower whilst you're mowing and sort of you know potentially disconnecting from the hose and spewing gas everywhere. I've used a normal barbecue regulator which is from a normal barbecue grill and you may not be able to see that focus but it's 2.8 kpi and it runs via the normal sort of barbecue hose held in place with cable ties as you can see at sort of various locations to a gas valve which I use to switch on and off which then provides the flow of gas via an automotive fuel line back into the carburetor to the place where the normal petrol line would go. So it's kind of straightforward. Um, the other thing I did as well was I sealed the primer bulb on the carby just to make sure that there wasn't any gas that was going to leak. So what I'll do is I'll start it up and we'll see how it runs.